Welcome and thank you for joining us. We are Team Brojo and today JP will be interviewing Nancy on our final project segment. Take it away, JP. Thank you for joining us today, Nancy. And let's start with a bit of a profound question, but I think you're capable of answering it thoroughly. What would you say has been the most impactful event of your life? So there's been a lot of things in my life that have been impactful, but if there's one thing that catches my mind and will always be in my mind is um, when I was 19 years old, I got Bell's palsy and um, a mini stroke, which caused me to be um, disabled for about a year and kind of pushed me back in my everyday life. A uh, few things that obstacles that had stopped me from succeeding was me stopping going to school, um, work, and actually even eating. I did have to get that extra support from my parents and my grandmother, which uh, without them or my siblings, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. I had to stop my life for a whole year. So a few things that I was doing, it was just staying home, trying to relax and trying to reset and remember where I started. Uh, that caused me to be at that position at the time. My mother was actually one of my biggest supporting system. She would do anything in the world to try to help me from anything from like, uh, you know, mother nature healing to medication. When I first got diagnosed with the sickness that I had, I was given the, given the um, incorrect medication for about a month. And I didn't realize until like I realized my mom realized I wasn't getting any better. Um, I then went to Kaiser Permanente in West LA, and I met with a doctor in the office, and he was like, why are you taking this? And it was um, medication for stomach flu. So that's a big reason, another big reason what it caused me to be delayed. Um, when I was doing my everyday life before getting Bell's palsy, I was working at the airport at the time. I was working for Virgin Atlantic Airlines as a check-in agent, I was going to school at West LA. My major had always been communication, but that was a passion that I always wanted to fulfill in my dreams. I stopped going to school because I, I thought school was, was stressing me out and caused me to reset my life, and or it was work, but it was actually, to come to find out, it was genetic. Um, my mother got it when she was pregnant with my third sibling, and my little niece got it when she was one years old. It took me a whole year to overcome it. Um, what was this, something that made me like realize like I needed to go to change? I went to Baja California in Mexico. My mother took me with like a natural doctor and I just took vitamins. I stayed there for a whole weekend and just take a bunch of vaccines with vitamins. vitamins. And then I shortly, maybe two, three days after, I started feeling my face again. I started walking again. And like I felt like a little taste in my mouth and I started getting better. Then I got um, one thing that got me depressed. I did go into depression for about a year and a half was because I always had like a clean face and then I broke out with hives really bad like to a point where I was like looking like a little porcupine. <laughs> uh, I use it as an everyday experience. It's helped me become a better person and understand that you never know what anyone's going through physically or mentally, and you, it made me also realize who's there for you as a support system and who's not there for you. Um, there's people that are just there for fun and there's people that are there for the hard and good times. When I got back to like my normal everyday life, one thing that I've been living by till this day, it is anything in this world can be fixed except death. So yeah, thank you for your time. With that, that concludes our Team Rojo final project. Thank you all for a great semester. Thank you to our group, JP, for a great interview questions. Nancy, for taking the time to actually tell us a little bit more about your story. And to Eddie and Michelle for helping us with the camera and the lighting setup. Thank you, Professor.